Hello, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Manager at Fossey IIT Bombay. I take care of our programming language uh, course. So welcome to our uh, three days talk on our beginner workshop for data science. We'll wait for other participants to join in. And thank you for uh, really good response. Hi, Smita. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Second. Radhe. Good morning, Professor Radhe. Good morning. Yeah. So this is a, this is supposed to be on pedagogy series, as per our advertisement in the um, TechWhip series. Although we may not have anybody, so I thought that uh, we can spend some time on the pedagogy of the workshop at the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Because you will have three days of R R R. It is time to discuss S T U V W X Y Z. other things so pedagogy is something that i would uh, want to spend some time let us find out from uh, the participants you can probably close this uh, uh, screen let's interact with the participants first uh, so uh, really happy to um, see the participants uh, not sure how many people are there right now close to i see 85 87 Out of that, I think organizers will be uh, organizing team will be about seven people. That means about eighty participants have joined. We have a total of hundred people doing this course, so we are really delighted to bring this uh, uh, this uh, course to all of you. We have Professor uh, uh, Radhen Srivastava, uh, mathematics statistics uh, expert, uh, my colleague in uh, IIT Bombay. Uh, he is the one actually uh, who helped create all the content that is going to be used in in the workshop. In fact, we are going to use a different style of pedagogy, and uh, we will also have some more faculty members uh, coming uh, today, and also uh, maybe definitely on Saturday, maybe tomorrow also. We want to see. Uh, I think there are about fifty people who are. Uh, Uh, who are teachers about half are teachers half are um students so i would like to know let's spend some time with the teachers trying to understand where they are from and so on all right um, so if not what we will do is we will get started i just wanted to have a little bit of time for anybody else to join the number has now gone to 100 so that was one of the reasons also to give some time so that in case people wanted to join they can come in the meantime we can also have a round of introduction about ourselves so what i will do is uh, i'll see if i can open my slides uh, professor radin dushka you will have a um, you will have a session afterwards uh, do you want to say anything now no i think it's fine sir you please go ahead yeah yeah okay so what i'm going to do is now um, uh going to uh talk about pedagogy in a in this workshop so uh this is a uh, this workshop is our 3 day workshop for data science and uh schedule i wanted to take one second okay i wanted to see this because i can show show you the schedule okay i will quickly take you through the uh, schedule and then uh, we'll uh, take it from there so um until 10:45 i'll be um, interacting with you uh, workshop procedure i'll explain shortly then we'll have a talk on applications on our programming language by uh, professor radhe uh, who is a professor in uh, department of mathematics iit bombay then we will have uh, by the way this workshop is on r okay how to use r for pedagogy so quite a bit of time we will spend on r teaching various aspects of r and then we will also explain some of the applications okay so we have uh, we will learn uh, r, r studio so in the afternoon at uh, 3:30 uh, we will have a live session before that we will have we will use recorded material 
and I'm going to talk about it shortly. And then at 4.15, we'll have a live session by Professor Amit Sethi, uh, who is a, a professor in uh, electrical engineering at IIT Bombay, who specializes in data sciences. And he's going to give a talk on modeling survival in prostate cancer Concept. using pathology images and R. Okay, this is by Professor okay. Amit Sethi. Then we'll have some, we'll spend some time at five o'clock on our textbook companion lab migration and case study project. This is something that uh, that uh, um, my colleague uh, uh, Smita will uh, cover. And then we have some we will have some work overnight. You'll have to complete the practice problems. Every one of these tutorials using the R script, importing, merging data, creating data frames and matrices, all of them will have some problem to work on in case you can't finish in case you cannot finish some tutorial you will do it overnight okay anyway you will come tomorrow tomorrow 9 30 10 o'clock we will discuss the practice problems in case you try so i will let me just say this is optional okay this is optional those of you who haven't finished today's uh, practice problems you're welcome to come you have difficulty in so att you attempted your problem in solving you have a question we will be there at 9 30 and it is optional so then we will begin tomorrow's day with uh, professor radin on uh, uh, data visualization and data formatting and then we will learn to use various uh, plotting tools available in r okay uh, histogram bar chart and so on and then ggplot2 and then in the afternoon, we'll have uh, a live session, animation and R by the FASI team. And then we will also have basics of statistical computing by the FASI team. That will be tomorrow afternoon. And then we will uh, discuss how you can contribute and what are the benefits. And then overnight, once again, you will complete the assignment problems. And then uh, once again in the morning, 9.30 to 10, discussion of practice problems. Uh, then we have, we'll have programming in R and then uh, Professor Radhin Dushka will talk about uh, introduction to machine learning um, in the morning and then uh, basics of statistical computing part two by the FASI team. And then in the afternoon, we will have a talk by Professor uh, Goody, Ravindra Goody, who is a chair professor in, uh, in data sciences. Uh, he is a professor in chemical engineering. So he will give a talk on motivation and class motivation mot, motivation to classification and clustering why it is important and then we will discuss some problems and this will be done by uh, the fuzzy team uh, we will talk about various uh, nice things that are available so the main emphasis is on learning r learning to use r understanding the various material available in r and why data science so we have examples, uh, various examples, electrical engineering, chemical engineering, uh, uh, mathematics, statistics, and so on. And then final thing, we will talk about uh, promotion in promotion of R in colleges, uh, how you can contribute, how you can conduct these workshops, and so on. And what kind of help you would need in case you want to conduct a workshop in your college, how the FOSI team at IIT Bombay can help you. So these are all the things that we will cover in this uh, workshop. Uh, what I can do is, uh, I know that you might have some questions. If you have some questions, please put them on chat. So we will see whether we can address them right after I finish because I'm, I've already taken a lot of time. So I want to quickly go through the pedagogy that we will follow. Uh, so let me schedule, we have already finished, okay. Pedagogy using spoken tutorials, pedagogy in creation we will talk about, pedagogy in use because this is what you are going to do, uh, follow and then pedagogy in interaction. Okay, We are going to use a special kind of pedagogy for interaction, otherwise it will be chaotic with 100 people. Some of you may want to conduct classes for 100 people. So some of the methods that we use here may be useful to you. So uh, we will talk about pedagogy in interaction. These are the things we will use in this workshop. What are the benefits? Benefits are scalable. Like I said, 100 people you can conduct. You can even conduct for a few hundred 
students participants in this method easy to replicate whatever we are going to use in this workshop we will be happy to share with you all the instructional material you are welcome to use them and not only that you will be able to deliver more or less without any loss in quality that is something that we will uh, explain it will become clear as you go on but uh, we will discuss this further uh, the benefit is it is suitable for nationwide training we have used this method uh, whatever method we are going to use in today's uh, in this workshop uh, for training a large number of students across the country and we have trained 70 lakh students using this method in the last 7 8 years so this method is uh, has been validated perfected and so on now we'll talk about pedagogy in creation of spoken tutorials like every movie has a script our tutorial also has a script so we write a script and use the script for recording okay but then we don't use the script directly because the scripts are written by experts we often ask can a beginner understand and most of the time the answer is no so we say improve the script we say improve the script it goes into the loop the script gets improved 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 until a beginner says yes i can understand once it is done we say record it using the script okay that is spoken tutorial welcome to the spoken tutorial on embedding mathematics in xfig scilab spoken tutorial ki swagatam eight c++ mein constructors aur destructors ke spoken tutorial mein aapka swagat hai स्पोकन ट्युटोरियलच्या क्रिएटिंग बेसिक कंटेंट वरील पाठात आपले स्वागत फ्लोर शीटिंग अरिमुगम कुरित स्पोकन ट्युटोरियल कनल वरवे जावा इत्यस्मिन अंकगणितीय प्रक्रियायाः पाठं प्रति स्वागतम अस्मिन पाठे वयम विविध व्हाट लँग्वेज डबिंग इज दिस यू कैन एंटर इट इन द चैट दैट विल बी नाइस वियोगः गुणकम भागाहारः तथा एतेषां सो इट इज संस्कृत एंड of course if we can do this dub it in sanskrit we can dub it in almost any language we have dubbing in many languages and other uh, interesting aspect of this material is it can be used offline in fact we have asked all of you to download uh, ask to download our tutorials and use them offline so that even if uh, internet there is a problem you can still use it okay okay this is the pedagogy in creation okay that's how you are going to download uh, you know it is created for self learning through novice check of the script and then we dub it into various languages and then uh, we have made it usable offline so this is all part of creation now now we will talk about pedagogy in use how do we use it so what we will do is we will open the spoken tutorials on one side of the screen so these are the spoken tutorials uh, or the videos and then the software itself in this case our tutorials our software here i have done it with scilab this is what you will do okay and what will you do you will listen to a command open the video listen to the video one command then you pause it because there are video buttons you pause it and try the command on the software okay if it works go back to the video listen to the next command okay and practice it if it does doesn't work then rewind listen to it try it it will always work because it is created for self learning okay repeat until this tutorial is completed in in other words you will have the video opened spoken tutorial opened you saw various examples of spoken tutorials open the spoken tutorial open the video they open the software and then practice one command at a time until the whole video is completed this method is identical for all series all levels okay so uh, it's an easy way to learn and we find that this is uh, a suitable method for learning um, for uh, keeping the uh, cognitive overload minimum because you don't have to change uh, screens 
because what happens is often you do control tab shift by then you get sidetracked you get attracted by something on the web you go there you go away you forget you forget about the whole thing okay you go in a you know completely different direction here the focus is on only one thing that tutorial you have to practice that's it whatever is required is in front of you okay so it reduces the cognitive overload it is it is also especially useful for beginners okay because they by the time they change the screen and come over here they forget what they saw it is of course uh, useful also for elderly people whose uh, ability to concentrate also is less right okay so we that is the way we use hello i am mahima limai from shravashi international academy nasik i am ict it and computer science tutor today i am here to share my learning experience with spoken tutorials as the name itself suggest that with the help of spoken tutorials we can learn various free and open source softwares recently i have completed the html and python course under national teachers professional development program spoken tutorials are created for self learning and hence i was able to carry out every command shown in spoken tutorials i want to add up here that not only our tutors but the students of our school are also using spoken tutorials for self learning it is helping us to enhance their icd skills i check the spoken tutorial website frequently for new tutorials learning through spoken tutorial help us to spread the knowledge of technology and free open source software across the students and they get opportunities to learn any software as fravashi international academy is knowledge partner with spoken tutorial iit bombay i would like to thank our management and our own dean sir dr sanjay jairath for giving me the opportunity to coordinate this project as a school coordinator okay let's go to the next one so we actually assess the efficacy of this here is a hyderabad uh, java training what we did was we uh, there were students about 400 students who were learning java some of them agreed to do this through the workshops this is called self workshop spoken tutorial based education and learning through free software right so this is um, uh workshop method other people went to the traditional class you can see that about equal number and you can also see um men and women um more men 250 and then uh, 150 ladies right and then after that we conducted a test for them on the same topic it's a one week experiment and then we found them to be about equal in fact the workshop participants did slightly better okay overall performance post is about equal and we found the self confidence to be very high amongst workshop learners especially women women candidates were uh, very high in self confidence lot more than the classroom regular classroom the workshop people were actually lot better lot more confident we even got a journal article uh, using this approach we we have uh, honorable x uh, hrm speech Yeah, let me just show that. As I mentioned, spoken tutorials they are prepared by Bombay IIT. But IIT Bombay has prepared those spoken tutorials. It is giving lessons in all languages, and one language is Sanskrit. And therefore, when I heard the tutorial of IIT, of all uh, lessons, they were in Sanskrit, and it was very effective. Okay, so we'll come back here. next is pedagogy in interaction so we talked about creation use and interaction so i'm going to talk about it in the uh, i have separate set of slides for that in the next talk okay we are running slightly late but it is okay because we also started late because i wanted to make sure that uh, some other people who missed out for various reasons could join of course we used the time to interact with you people is there anybody who has not installed r yet if so if you need any help please uh, put it on chat window one of our team members will help you as i am talking uh, you know how to do this somebody will help you okay because we uh, gave you instructions on how to install r 
by the way this workshop is going to be completely hands on completely hands on from the moment we finish talking you will have to start practicing you need to have r installed on your machine okay so is there anybody who has not installed r do you need any help please uh, we will be happy to help you uh, please put it on the chat window and somebody will help you 